Mike Ditka was born as the oldest of three siblings in 1939 and raised in the Pittsburgh area in Aliquippa. Here, in the steel manufacturing hub of western Pennsylvania, he fell in love with the game of football. In high school, the football team doctor took Ditka and other passionate players under him, and the group would attend pit games together, where Dr. John L. Miller encouraged them to play after finishing their time in high school, encouraging a career in football past graduation. Ditka often looks fondly back on this time, crediting Dr. Miller for supporting his dream of escaping his hometown's manufacturing jobs by attending college on a football scholarship. With this support and his clear talent, Ditka was accepted into Penn State, Notre Dame, and the University of Pittsburgh, ultimately staying true to his roots and taking the scholarship at Pitt. At the University of Pittsburgh, Ditka was a three-sport student, serving as an outfielder for baseball, a forward in basketball, while also playing as a linebacker, defensive end, and punter for the football team. Ditka's time at Pitt did not fly under the radar. He finished with 45 receptions for 730 yards and seven touchdowns. He was even later rewarded with a spot in the College Sports Hall of Fame in 1986. After an impressive football career at the University of Pittsburgh, he was selected in the fifth round of the 1961 draft by none other than the Chicago Bears. During his time playing with the Bears, he was a five-time Pro Bowl selection and won the NFL championship in 1963. Ditka still holds stats to this day from his time with the Bears, ranking first among tight ends and fourth in Bears history with 4,503 yards, fifth in both receptions and touchdown catches. After retiring as a player, Ditka became the head coach of the Bears in 1982, where his personality really made its mark on the team and fans alike. Ditka's brash remarks, especially towards underwhelming questions from the media, became an iconic part of the Bears team during his coaching career. Get your mouth shut. Get your mouth shut, jerk. Ditka. <laughs> See that? That's your IQ, buddy. Zero. Other turnovers. Uh, I'd rather talk to him. <laughs> Even rubbing off on his players' personalities, for better or worse. Not only was his personality beloved, but he knew how to coach the Bears like none other. Ditka led the team to their first Super Bowl victory in 1985, where fans could be seen sporting fake mustaches and glasses to show their love for Ditka and his iconic look. After this Super Bowl victory, Mike Ditka was named and still is the only person to have won both an NFL championship and a Super Bowl as a player, an assistant coach, and a head coach. After coaching the Bears for 11 seasons, Ditka went on to coach the New Orleans Saints for three seasons. Off the field, Ditka's been involved in numerous charitable organizations, including the Gridiron Greats Assistance Fund, which helps retired NFL players in need. His contributions to the Bears organization, his tough love personality, and his more than iconic look will always be remembered, and he will remain a beloved figure in Chicago sports history for years to come.